Hey there everyone, it's Coach Johnson from Airte Throws Nation and today what we're going to talk about is Glide Shot Put 101 and introducing you to how to throw the shot put using the Throwing Chain Reaction System. So essentially what the TCR, or <clears throat> the Throwing Chain Reaction or the TCR, um, we focus on breaking the throw into specific components which we call pillars. Um, some people call them phases, but we're, we're talking about distinct parts. So that's going to allow you to better understand specifically where you are in the throw and then what specific pieces or pillars of your throw need to be worked on. Now, one of the things uh, we have up here, we have a video. Um, we pulled up David Storrell and we'll look at Alf Timmerman. So what we're gonna look at in this video is we're gonna look at two elites and then we're gonna look at a couple of youth or high school throwers and then we're gonna see the big differences in the, in the technical changes. So pillar one is the setup. And this is, there's very specific things ha happening here, how you set, how you're gonna be setting alignments, angles, and even in the glide, there is a form of separation. If you notice how David Storrow creates some separation. So pillar one, we recall, is the setup. And the setup is going to be critical because that is what creates your chain reaction. Now, when <clears throat> Storrow begins to load, so from, from this point of setting up and separating, and then as we come into our glide T, we're going to notice how we're creating a counterbalance effect with this, obviously, the kick leg. And one of the things is, as we go and we come out of pillar one, we're going to go as what we refer to as pillar two. Pillar two is loading and coiling. And that's where we're bringing the shot put and the kick leg, drawing it in, and that's our coil. And the coil is going to refer to the position of the uh, upper back and the left shoulder and left kick leg or I should say the the block arm and the kick leg. So when you look here and you look at Timmerman who is probably uh, considered hands down the greatest glider that's ever thrown um, over 23 meters multiple time world record holder gold medalist um, the Germans are are definitely known for their pretty pretty stellar glide technique and so here, when you look at Timmerman, you're gonna see that same pillar too. He's loaded and coiled, and that's what's gonna allow that big strike across the circle. So this is gonna move us into what we refer to as a slide. Pillar three in the TCR is sliding, and that's where we're moving the kick leg in the center of mass, and we're initiating it into the throw. So this is gonna give us some information, and then we're right at this point, we're in what we refer to, we call it pillar four. Now, the reason we create a distinction <clears throat> with with your slide position your pillar three is because we have to be really conscious of where the center of mass angle is as you're going to be trying to strike into the power position so if you look at storrel here on the left we look at now we're going to be we're sliding so that center of mass is staying in this nice line and that kick leg is going to extend and so his line stays kind of here timmerman was clearly super dynamic you're going to see how everything gets there, we're gonna create double extension. But if we look again at Storrel, we're going to, pillar four is here, it's drive and kick. So we're punching off the right and kicking the left, and that double extension is what you'll see different drills. So that's our pillar four, so we wanna see this position here. And <clears throat> that's gonna pull us into the power position, which is pillar five. You're gonna notice that right foot touchdown Typically in the glide, the right foot touches down and it's you're going to see that catapult and shift into the block leg, into the left. And again, if you notice Timmerman, same thing, right foot touchdown, left foot touchdown. And the key to, the, to a successful glide in the power position is as that heel elevates, you're going to notice how that's pushing that knee around and into the throw, which is going to take us into pillar six. So pillar five is basically power position. We're gonna be conscious of alignment. Where's the head in relation to the foot and the knee? We wanna see the weight back and the ball behind the knee. And you're gonna see when we look at some young gliders, we're gonna see how they have a tendency to have everything shifted forward. So as we get ourselves in a position and we can move the hip into the throw, now we're gonna be going into pillar six where we're gonna be activating a big delivery. And delivery is huge, right? When we're actually coming through, that's why in the TCR we teach it in two pieces because we wanna be conscious of where we're placing the power position, how we're moving out of the power position to get into a striking 
dynamic delivery position, pillar six. So that is the big, you can see here, it's sequential. You see that block arm stop, you see the block leg stop. You tend to see with gliders that the right foot tends to come off the ground before the left because a glider is, a, it's a linear delivery and they're driving in, right? You're seeing them drive into the throw and through the block leg, moving the right side towards the center uh, uh, of the sector and moving that right hip all the way to the toe board. And this is why you tend to see gliders, they finish very upright because it's a linear position. You can see how the left arms stops and creates that big extension. And if you look here on the right and we look at Timmerman, the same thing, you see that right hip punches through. So this is why you want to avoid in uh, what we teach or we avoid, we don't teach the jump and switch. Um, I think that can have a place for a very short period of time, but what you're trying to teach is how that right hip is gonna come around and extend into the throw or the delivery side hip so that you see this really nice extension. Obviously, here's the difference between, this is like a 22 plus meter throw. Uh, the throw here on the left is a <clears throat> 21 plus meter throw, roughly around 69 feet, and this one's over 72 feet. So it's interesting to just see um, Again, you're noticing that delivery line, noticing the block, notice when both feet come through and look at the extension of the hip. We'll talk about the inverted C in another video. You can reference some of our uh, different videos and um, <clears throat> you'll see what we're talking about. In the next video, what we're gonna do for Glide 101 is we'll do a comparison of two high school kids. But the point of this video is to help throwers and coaches understand what are what are what's happening in the throw and when we start to understand that structure of how the chain reaction works and how the pillars will enable you to identify your weaknesses and then be able to work on developing uh, you know working working on your weakest links and then also understanding that what are your biggest strengths and how to continue to improve those things and most importantly once you understand how a chain reaction works you can start to see that many of the problems that are occurring through pillar two, you know, three, four, five, six are often um, an issue. Oftentimes, in pillar uh, four or five, or five and six, is is a direct result of what didn't happen correctly in pillar one and two. So set your chain reaction, understand your six phases of the throw. So hopefully, this video helps to have you understand that the most important thing for a throws training is to create to have a structure to follow if you're just going out and you're throwing randomly and you're just working on the whole throw as, as one piece, um, then you're gonna be leaving results on the table. You're gonna have a hard time identifying what's going wrong and it's gonna make your timeline for success um, a lot slower. So hopefully if you like this video, be sure to give us a like below. Um, check out our website. We have more information and more detailed um, <clears throat> things pertaining to the glide and the throwing chain reaction system. Thanks so much.